an Atlantic Beach mother called us asking for help. She says she's afraid her young children are going to get hit and killed. So we sent Jen out to check it out. Now she's getting some answers from the man in charge of the city's buses. We took our radar equipment to Cavallo Road. It's in Atlantic Beach. It's a short road. In fact, take a look. It's only the length of about two city blocks. To speed, you really have to floor it since there's stop signs on either end of the road. And we caught driver after driver going too fast. The sign says 20 miles per hour. But it doesn't take long before we find a JTA driver going a lot faster. Radar clocks the bus going 29. Next, we catch this bus going 30. And this beach is trolley driving 28 miles per hour. We're parked in a driveway on Cavallo Road in Atlantic Beach. Our radar equipment inside so as not to attract attention. This road is lined with homes. There are no sidewalks to buffer front yards from the buses that use the road as a cut through from busy Atlantic Boulevard. The bus stop they service is right around the corner. We come here at different times of the day. That trolley speeding eight over the 20 miles per hour limit. We watch for several weeks. Not every bus driver speeds, but while we're there, we catch several going well over the limit. This one got up to 29, and on this day, we clock a trolley going 30. That's 10 over the limit. How concerned are you about the safety of your children? Very concerned. It just it scares me to know that my kids can get hit by a bus at any time. Erica Simmons called us after she says she's complained to JTA several times for the sake of her one and four year old children. Even as we were interviewing her, we could hear a bus barreling down the street. That guy was flying. So is that kind of what you experienced there? Yes, all the time. It seems like all of them speed. We took our video to JTA to get some answers. What can you tell this neighborhood about what JTA is going to do to stop this from happening? Well, Jennifer, let me tell you, first of all, that safety is our number one priority. We have zero tolerance for uh, vehicles, our vehicles, going over the speed limit. Clinton Forbes says JTA was already aware of the problem. He shows us a list of radar checks done by a JTA supervisor who clocked one driver going 32. That's 12 miles over the limit. These, These are the four buses. They were warned and counseled on the spot by the supervisor. We sent out notices mm -hmm. to all operators. That was August 17th, but we came back out here two and a half weeks later and still found some buses speeding. This shuttle was going 29. This one topped out at 30. How bad is it? I mean, starting from morning to night. It starts at 6 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. Simmons received a call from JTA's director of mass transit, Clinton Forbes, an hour before his interview with us promising her more action. Um, I personally called the resident and apologized and let her know that uh, we have zero tolerance for our buses speeding. We will have someone monitoring uh, the, the uh, contractor that provides that community shuttle service uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Now, JTA also says that it hopes to move that bus stop so that the buses don't have to drive through that residential neighborhood. Now, if you're having trouble with JTA buses speeding where you live, you should call police, but you can also call JTA to complain. The number to dial is 630-3100. Now, if you don't have any luck, Clinton Forbes says that you can call his office directly by dialing 630-3149. If you missed this, by the way, I put all of this information on our web channel, newsforjacks.com. That's where you can go to get those phone numbers. Well, Jim, what about police in Atlantic Beach? Uh, have they gotten involved in this? They have. In fact, I called them also when we were working on this story. They said they've been out actually seven times since they received a call very likely from this woman. They received a complaint. Mm -hmm. They've been out seven times since August, and they have not caught any buses speeding, but they were quick to point out, of course, that they're out there in a marked patrol car, yeah. and we all know that when you see a marked yeah. patrol car, you typically are price. a little better about yeah abiding by the speed limit. Yeah, and I, I was wondering about the mother. Did she, was she satisfied with the response? Very satisfied. In fact, when I, she called me as I was on my way driving literally to interview Clinton mm -hmm. Forbes, and she said, you know what, he called, he was very nice, he seemed extremely empathetic to the problems that I'm having in the neighborhood, the concern she has for her children, and really felt very good about the fact that he was getting on top of it, and we certainly hope that it happens, and we'll, of course, continue to check out in that neighborhood. I hope so, because with no sidewalks, it's kind of It's, it's very tough, tough, and her no children to, are so small. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. nowhere for other people to walk. And all either. kids should be able to 
play in their front yard yeah. safely. The Gone Gauge, to help you plan your day. Channel 4 is the weather authority.